Good afternoon. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back and thanks for coming in today's video. It's going to be all about e.l.f. makeup products and the foundation that I just got today. Earlier today. So, I mean yesterday. So, not today. But today is July 21st, 2024. And the time now is 12.50 p.m. afternoon time here from the beauty room. So, God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in today. Today is Blessed Sunday. So, it's Blessed Sunday here from the beauty room. I hope you all have been having a wonderful, blessed weekend. Enjoyed yourself. So, make sure you sit back, relax, grab yourself a delicious snack, something to drink, and definitely take notes to see if you get these items at your local Walmart or Target from e.l.f. products and they definitely do have some new e.l.f. products that I want to get so bad so I can test it out and try it out with you know with you all and ladies and gentlemen enjoy this blessed Sunday so we're going to get started into my eyebrows this is an in-depth of how I do my makeup but I'm using e.l.f. products so the only one thing I'm not using by e.l.f. is like the eyebrow pencil because I don't believe I have that but I'll look into my makeup collection maybe later on during this week and I'll do another video or another tutorial on elf again so we can use a different eyeshadow palette and use a different maybe a different foundation from elf and it's the foundation elf that I really really want to try so bad it's the elf uh, foundation but I think it's like eight dollars so you can get that at your local Target or your local Walmart try it out it's only eight dollars not bad at all but this foundation was fourteen dollars even I got this at Target yesterday so yes we're going to get right started into the video so let's get started so the first thing I do is I do my eyebrows but my face I already cleansed it it's all cleaned yes um, so the one thing that I want to get from elf also as well is the eyebrow pencil Excuse me about that it's just like the eyebrow pencil from elf and it's where it has the like the spoolie at the end and you can definitely, you know, shape your eyebrows before before you apply any, like, eyebrow, you know, products to your eyebrows. So, let's do that now. I'm going to get right into it. Oh, there it is. I couldn't find it at first. But, yeah, this is the AOA Studio Shop Miss A um, Spoolie Brush. And this is in E119. So, this is for your eyes. But, I just use it for my eyebrows just to get them shaped up. And this is a very, very good thing to do before you apply any makeup foundation um, primer setting spray to your face and your face is like a canvas so you can definitely have so much fun with your face when you apply your makeup but this look I'm going to do today is just a everyday you know out the door type of look you know so you can definitely do this within 15 to 20 minutes so let's get into it right now but this is the product by wet n wild which is my favorite favorite eyebrow pencil in the whole wide world this is i love using this because it just takes a few minutes to get your eyebrows together with this and this is in six three yeah and six i'm sorry not six three six zero three a by cena brown from the wet n wild it's like 99 cents but it should be like either 99 cents now to a dollar 99 because i know makeup has went up in price so we're going to start with the left eye and then we're going to move on to my right eyebrow. But make sure you definitely have your desktop mirror with you. And make sure you have a handheld mirror as well. Which is, have it. Which is right here. This is one of a mirror that one of my good friends from YouTube did for me. She made this just for me. And I thought it was so sweet of her to do that. So I love using this handheld mirror. You can also get these two at from Shop Miss A. Which is www.shopmissa.com So you want to make sure you have your handheld and your desktop mirror. Or you can have like another desktop mirror. I like to have just one desktop mirror. And then my handheld mirror. So I can see in precise of how I'm doing my eyebrows. So we're going to get to my left eyebrows right now. But this is how I do it. So I'm, I had to look at my mirror in for just a moment just to do it. So give me just a minute. And this is how I just do my eyebrows. Just like that. I just apply it like that. The first line into it. So then from there I go underneath my eyebrow. <laughs> See and that's how I just apply my eyebrow from underneath. Then I work my way up to the top of my eyebrow. 
but you can use any eyebrow pencil that you want from any um, any makeup brand you want it's totally up to you which is every like affordable for your wallet for your dollar for your coins I like to use what's very affordable so that's why I love having my YouTube channel because I buy things that's very affordable for the wallet for our Hamilton's I dollar and coins because things are very expensive now these days you know but there's sometimes you want to treat yourself you can go right to Ulta beauty store I have I have not been there in about a year or two so it's time for me to go there and treat myself and I have some things in my cart from Ulta beauty store you know just to you know brighten out you know to get out of my comfort zone you know instead of just getting you know which is affordable you know makeup which is like makeup revolution to me and morphe which those two brands i definitely love oh and i also love du um juvia's place those three oh and also you know also beauty you know their brand from also beauty store those four are my top phase you know makeup to definitely get so one day someday I am going to be able to walk into Ulta Beauty Store and buy anything I want, you know, to treat myself, you know, because that's what women do, because we have to treat ourselves, and so does men, you know. Men treat themselves too, so men, you know, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. And just how was your day today? How is your Sunday? I hope you all had a wonderful, blessed Sunday. Enjoyed it, you know. Are you about to make dinner now? Or you already had dinner already going, you know, at 6 or 7 something in the morning before you go to church with the family? Tonight's dinner is going to be a really good meal for Hamilton and I. It's just some chicken alfredo, but with the elbow macaroni noodles we're going to use. And, like... A side salad that's pretty much about it simple no garlic bread no bread because I am a diabetic type 2 and I can't really have a lot of bread so yeah yeah and that is how I do my eyebrow this looks really good on my left let's get to my right Okay, so now this is how I do it. Sometimes I'll go up or down, but I'm going to go from the bottom to the, work my way up because sometimes if I do up, you know, it won't mess me up because sometimes I fear like I'm going to mess my eyebrows up, which I do, you know what I mean? And it's always fixable to do when you when you do mess up on your eyebrows, when you use a pencil or when you use a, um, a pencil, not a pencil, but when you use a makeup be flat flat brush and you have a spoolie at the end of it you can definitely clean it up you know with that with that flat brush you can definitely clean up you know whatever you use like an eyebrow pencil or a pom or a pomade with the you know with the flat brush and a spoolie at the end and what you want to do is just follow your eyebrow of how your eyebrow is shaped so this is how I do I'm just kind of scoot up so you can basically see what I'm doing so I kind of messed up like right there but that's okay because it's going to be fixed so I'll show you in a minute And also with your makeup, you always want to take your time when you when you apply your makeup. Because the first thing when I do is when I'm done cleaning my face and make sure my face is clean and everything. I definitely make sure I take my time with my eyebrows because my eyebrows is my definitely must have in my eyebrows. So I just take the front of the pencil and just fill it in. And definitely make sure you do that. See how it's all like real thick right there I'll show you in one second how to get that not like that anymore okay so since this is like this we're gonna fix that right now so I'm basically done with the I with the pencil from Wet n Wild. This is 603A from Wet n Wild. You can go onto the website, which is www.wetnwild.com, 
or you can definitely go to like your five below and see if they still have these pencils either for 99 cents or to a dollar 99 or probably more than a dollar 99 for these pencils but I have like at least six of these so I never run out trust me when they had these pencils at five below a couple years ago I bought about at least six of them for 99 cents at that time you know that was a couple years ago so since this is like this we're gonna fix it though we're going to use I don't have a cons oh, yes I do one second I thought I had a concealer from e.l.f. So we're just going to use this Rimmel London Concealer. And the shade I am is in 512 Amber. So what you always want to do is use a lighter or two shades of a concealer that goes from the bottom of your eyebrow. And then if you want to take another concealer to do your top eyebrow, you can just match it to the skin of your neck. And that's how you can do it. Or you can get a concealer, you know, you can use a concealer or a foundation, whichever is easiest for you. You can definitely use any concealer that you have available to you, like in your makeup collection. And definitely just use a shade that's the skin tone of your skin to apply your top eyebrows to get that precise shape that you want. So, this is just my bottom. I don't really do my top, but I go back and forth sometimes when I want to definitely, you know, have that precise look. So this is it right here. This is in Rimble London again in 512 Amber. And this is how I'm going to just use my desktop, my desktop mirror, which is right here. And I just take my in my end finger and just go real light. Just to get that precise look. So we're just starting. I usually go from my left to my right, but today. We're going to start off with my right. And I never really start off with my right. I always go toward, you know, like toward my left first and then my right. But today, we got to do something different, you know. And this is from Wet n Wild also as well. I have a whole set of these brushes from Wet n Wild. Uh, Wet n Wild set. I got this this set from like uh, mostly like Dollar Tree, Five Below, and Walmart. Those are the three main stores that I've been looking for these makeup brushes because Dollar Tree is on like a dollar twenty-five for these more Wet n Wild makeup brushes. But if they don't have it at your local Dollar Tree, definitely try your like Walmart and maybe Target. But definitely go onto the website, which is www.wetandwild.com and get these sets of these brushes because I love them because they're pink. The bristles part is pink, but this part is white. And you can also just take your makeup brush, a flat rounded makeup brush, a flat brush. But this is where you can hold it so you can get that precise look with these. That's why they have that indent right here in the makeup brush. You know, but some breakup brushes don't have it, so you can hold it like this if you want, or hold it however you want so you can get close to the precise of the look. So, we're going to get right started into doing this eyebrow. So, sometimes you want to make sure that you have the concealer set onto your face for about a few seconds to a minute or so, but not too long because it'll definitely have that matte type of look and it'll be hard for you to definitely spread out the concealer. So, I'm taking my, my handheld mirror. And today has been a really good day for me. But how was you all's day today? I hope you all been having a wonderful, blessed Sunday here from the beauty room. Just enjoying your day, spending time with your family, your friends, you know. Having a nice, like, cookout or something like that. That'd be nice on a Sunday. Just to, you know, get some fresh air. To just enjoy life because life is precious. And life, 
You can't take it for granted. You know what I mean? So I hope you all have been having a wonderful, wonderful day today. A blessed Sunday. Okay, so now just make sure when you definitely do apply your concealer, make sure you're looking to your handheld mirror, which I am now. And just make sure you have that precise look, that type of line that you want to get it just precisely of how you want it to be you're, with your eyebrows. Because all our, our women and men, we have different eyebrow shapes. So, you know, if you want that precise look, make sure you just take your time with I'm um, applying your makeup and definitely make sure you take your time also with applying your you know with your eyebrow you know products whatever you want to use like I said a pencil or pomade with a with a flat brush and the spoolie so the first thing you want to make sure is when you apply your makeup you want to make sure that you definitely get that precise shape that you want or you can use stencils if you're not really um, if you're like a beginner not you know if you if you're not a professional because I know I wasn't trust me trust me when I first first started doing makeup I was like in my mid 30s and I had to practice and practice and practice and and practice until I got it right for myself not to be perfect you know what I mean but just to make sure I got it right for me for myself because you know people are going to look at your face you know when you go out you know in public you know so you want to just take your time if you rush to apply your makeup it's not going to come out right so i recommend highly recommend that you just take your time with your you know when you're applying your makeup when you're doing your eyebrows because it's definitely important so let's get right back into the video and see how i have it if you can really see hope you can if I have it just how it looks really really good and I'm looking in my side mirror I mean my handheld mirror I'm sorry my handheld mirror and I'm also have my desktop mirror so and this mirror I got this mirror right here from family dollar for like under ten dollars so if you're looking for a desktop mirror for anything for if your crafting room or your makeup room or you know whichever room that you have you have an extra room in your home you want to definitely make sure you have a handheld I mean a, 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 a and I talk a handheld mirror and also you want to make sure that you have a desktop mirror too on top of your desk because when you're applying your makeup you want to make sure you have an extra mirror so you can see precisely of what you're doing because you have to get close to what you know what I'm saying you have to get close to what you're doing because that's definitely important because you don't want to go out in the public looking as is because I know I've done it which I don't really have time care especially on the weekdays when I'm trying to take care of bills and go out you know in the public you know taking care of bills running errands that's really important to us to, Tam to Hamilton and I you know stuff like that going grocery shopping you know or just hanging out with my girls you know having a girls day you know and Hamilton having his guys day you know with with his buddies you know because we do separate things together sometimes just to you know enjoy our friends you know and enjoy our company that we have around us and now we're around them so you want to just make sure that you just take your time applying your makeup that's just definitely that's that's my tip and my key to getting your precisely makeup how you want it to because you have your own makeup brushes your own makeup foundation concealer all that you have all that to do because once you go out in public you don't want to look as is but just take your time because when you're applying your makeup you want it to look right you know you know because I know there's that time too oh my goodness you oh my god ladies and guys I'm telling you there is some days sometimes when I just practice we're not without filming you know and my eyebrows don't come don't have time come out right but then when I'm not filming before I you know did my video my eyebrows look right so it is what it is <laughs> at the end of the day because that's just how it is and you know when you want a certain way to look to look you know what I'm saying for your makeup you want it to look a certain way you know of course who wouldn't you know so now we're going to just do the other the left side of my eyebrow underneath it though we're taking the same concealer and what I'm doing is I'm just taking the product lifting my lifting my eyebrow and just going how my eyebrow is shaped I'm just taking just a very little of it. And that's it. 
So I'm going to take this came this came the same concealer when I'm after when I'm like applying my foundation. So give me just one moment. So we're going to do this con this concealer, but you also want to want to make sure it's like give it like a, a few seconds or a minute to dry because you don't want to really get it straight when it's wet. That's just what I do and that's what I've been noticing that it looks good when you wait for a minute to let it you know sit you know when you let your concealer sit underneath your eyebrow and also when you apply your concealer that matches your skin tone any skin tone you know woman of color or whichever skin color that you are because we all are different skin colors of women and men so you want to make sure you just give it a like a second a minute or so onto your underneath of your eyebrow and when you apply your top of your concealer to your eyebrow you want to give also that a minute or two just to let it sit so it's been sitting for quite a minute or so or just like a good few seconds you know it don't have to be a full a full two minutes or a minute it can be just 20 to 30 seconds you know to a minute so take your handheld mirror and you know, I'm just looking into my mirror first so just take your time with it just go real real lightly just like that And as you have, if you also too, if you have any extra foundation, um, foundation concealer that's in the front of your eyebrow, just take that leftover product and just smooth it out some more. And then just apply it on in front of your nose here just right about here because you're going to put you know some foundation like right there anyway so well this is just what I do before I apply my foundation I'll make sure this will looks really good also as well just enough to get it really precisely And if you have your makeup brushes and your makeup, we're doing our makeup together. Yes. And grabbing yourself something to drink, you know, to snack on. If you don't want to apply, you know, makeup and you just want to just learn how to apply makeup, go, oh, go. Definitely enjoy this video. But give this video a huge thumbs up, a lot of likes and comment and definitely make sure you share this video with family and friends so if they're considering being part of the beauty room family welcome 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 god bless you all thank you so much for being here in today's video so we're going to continue on And what do you think so far? So this looks good so far. So we're going to put this down for just a moment or so. So we can just look at it just to make sure everything looks right. And there's one little hiccupy. Ouch. So it's just like a little bit right here at the end of my tail of my eyebrow. So I'm just taking my, my, my fingers and just getting just a little bit. Just to get that precise tail how I want it to be actually that looks so good it looks really really good okay yes wonderful 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 and you also want to make sure that you have your handheld mirror so you can look at what you're doing just to you know get the after effects of you know when you're done doing your eyebrows 
and take your spoolie um hmm, your spoolie brush again I cannot talk today wow mm, excuse me I'm getting tongue tied today Okay, so after when I'm done putting on my concealer on underneath my eyebrow, I take my spool, my spoolie brush. This is the E119 from Shop Miss 8 by the brand of A A O A A O A Studio, or you can use any spoolie brush that you have from any from any name brand, any makeup brush that you have in your makeup collection, and just go real lightly when you brush. Because you don't want to get, you don't want to have that type of effect to your eyebrow to make it look too boxy, you know. And just do your other side of your your eyebrow. And then when you apply makeup, we gotta have fun with it, you know. Really have fun. I just, I, and I love makeup. I haven't worn makeup in a while, so. It's been quite some time for me to uh, really wear makeup, but now I can now. And then you also want to make sure when you apply, you know, when you get your eyebrow with the spoolie, make sure you're getting it really, really good. Take your time, and with if you have any like, you know, eyebrow hair, make sure you pull it up with your spoolie brush, so you can get like that uh, that type of natural effect, you know, to your eyebrows and this is how they look so far they look so so good oh my gosh wow it, today is today's a really good day today it, it truly is because one we woke up this morning that is definitely a plus in my book that's by the grace of God and Jesus Christ so now since the eyebrows are done we're going to apply some concealer so I apply my concealer before I apply my foundation but you can also to apply some primer onto your face so we're not going to apply the concealer just yet because I'm going to put some primer this is by elf this is the poreless putty primer from elf I want to say between six to maybe ten dollars and this is how it looks so that way you'll know of how it looks when you you know buy it from your from your Target or your Walmart, whichever location store that you want to go into, Target or Walmart should have this. And this is how it looks. It's like a nudish type of light tan type of color. So, and this is how it looks on the inside. So you want to just apply wherever you think is necessary. And this is about between ten. I'm sorry, between six and ten dollars. So I apply it like right here at my cheeks, and then I apply it like at my my smile lines because I have like pores right there and I have smile lines right there and I put it right above my lip and I smooth it out and it smells like a really light type of smell it don't smell too you know heavy or nothing like that and then you want to apply it too on your forehead because I do have pores on my face. So I want to make sure when I apply my makeup. I want to make sure that, you know, my makeup will last on me. And, you know. But there's sometimes, you know, if I have to do like a little bit of touch up, you know. I love to do that. And we're almost about done applying this. Gotta get it off my chin. And I really do like this product from Elf. I really like Elf products. Elf is like when I first started with my YouTube channel, and Elf was like my first, my first makeup, my first makeup from Elf, and because it was affordable, it's it's still affordable. But they come out. Oh my goodness, Elf is coming out with some makeup, you all, like skincare, makeup, and you know things like that. You know that's affordable. You know. You want to just make sure you put that all in. I like to put it on my nose sometimes too. And I really like this primer. It's it's just a really good primer. I love it. I haven't used it in so long and forever. For like the last few months. But yeah, this is very affordable. 
I highly recommend that you definitely try this out. And the shade that I am in, it's in 85912 Sheer. So this is a sheer one. So this is like a type of nudish type of color. And it's right here on my wrist, on my hand. So, put that there, right there, put that aside. Put these aside so I can continue on with the makeup. So, since the primer is on my face, we're going to let it sit for just a minute. Don't let it sit too, too long. So, yeah, this is, I haven't, um, I really haven't had this e.l.f. foundation yet because I just really try not to buy too much makeup, but I can't help it. I'm, I'm a woman. I'm a female. I love makeup. So, this is the, the number 8 in Rich, and this is in 82120. This is the shade I am in. Hope you can see that. Oh, actually, I'll show you much better right here. Hope you can see that. Can you see that? But this is the shade I am in rich. In 8 rich. If, if, if you're in my skin tones, you know, women or men, you know, this would be a definitely good match. But sometimes when you definitely do want to match your foundation, you can match it with your face. But lately, I've been matching it with my neck because my neck is the same. It's like a lighter type of I don't know type of thing that I have I don't know I, I get it from my parents so <laughs> but yeah but I make sure I match my foundation with my neck but when I was a beginner in way beginner in makeup I'm doing pretty good now but when I was a beginner in makeup I matched it with my face because that's you know what I you know would do because that's all how me and my cousins will always apply our makeup to match it with our face when we go into stores you know out in public you know but I match it with my neck now so I have a beauty sponge I believe oh no I don't oh okay so I thought I did so we're going to just take this flat kabuki brush from wet and wild so this is not sponsored by Wet n Wild or Elf. Trust me. This is just I, I buy these products with my very own money. So and I love spending my money on makeup because I rather spend it on makeup than other things. But I make sure home is taken care of first. <laughs> oh yes. So this is just a flat rounded kabuki brush from um from Wet n Wild. I believe I got this from uh Target or Walmart, one or two stores. And then I found the smaller brushes at Dollar Tree. But I believe I got this from Target or Walmart, which is between six to maybe ten dollars for the set. But they they definitely have the all black set. You can get I believe if it's still from Target or Walmart, we can get the whole set. But if they don't have it in those two stores, definitely go to www.wetnwild.com and get either set. Uh, or you can get both sets, you know, if you don't have that much makeup brushes and you want to treat yourself to some makeup brushes. Oh, yes. Go right ahead. So, this is how it comes with a really huge applicator. And I really like that about e.l.f. because, you know, you won't waste the products. And this is how huge the, the applicator is. And then this is how it looks onto my skin. So, yeah, we're going to just, so you can really see it. There you go. See how it matches my skin tone? This is an 8 rich. So, we're going to apply it here, 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 here. And we're going to apply some more, just a little bit. I try not to get my um, my beauty products, you know, dirty because I don't know why I'm like that, but I've been like that for quite some time. <laughs> I think ever since I was a teenager, when I was in, not ever since, but when I was a teenager, I never really wanted my my makeup stuff to get all dirty because then I know I would have to clean it. <laughs> so I got my foundation on. So before I put my foundation on, also as well, I mean before, I mean after when I apply my foundation, we're gonna put on the concealer. And sometimes I would use a darker concealer, about a shade or two within my skin tone. And then I would apply another concealer that's two, two to three shades lighter than me. Because I want that type of effect, you know, look, you know, not too much of it.
I know that looks crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my uh oh, where do I do? Oh, found it. My handheld mirror, so I can see. But I like to use use my handheld mirror first, and I want to just apply my foundation first because I want to let I want to let my concealer set for like another few more seconds. And this is how it's coming out looking so far. Okay, now I'm going to rub my concealer in. And when you apply your concealer, you want to make sure you're looking up. And I really like using these type of makeup brushes like the flat kabuki brushes and sometimes I like to use the beauty sponge also as well but I go back and forth to both and oh my goodness this looks so good so far wow like wow it don't look too type of you know I don't want to say glowy it does have that type of effect you know cuz I am an oily I am an oily girl you know not too much of it but like in the summertime I do get oily but in the winter time my skin gets like really dry because you know that's just how it is you know with the weather And I want to just apply a little bit more concealer underneath my eyebrows. So that's what we're going to do really, really quick. But not too much of it. Just like that. Because, yes, I do have the bags underneath my eyes. But that's okay. Makeup covers it all the time. <laughs> and I love, you know, when, when my makeup comes out just right. It comes out just right. Like I say, you want to look up. Make sure you're looking up because you don't. When you apply your concealer, you don't want it to crease. So you always gotta look up. And I hope you're all enjoying this video, learning some tips from me, taking some advice. But if you have, if you want to, um, not have, but if you want like to do your makeup your own way. Go for it because we all, you know, have our own type of routines of how we like to apply our makeup. I totally get it. You want to just make sure everything is blended in very, very well when you do apply your mom, um, your make the rest of your makeup. And whatever you have left like on your hand from your makeup just apply it to your face because you don't want your product to be wasted oh no <laughs> makeup shall not be wasted <laughs> makeup can't be wasted <laughs> no 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 And I do apply my makeup to my lips because when I put on a lipstick or a, like a like a lip gloss, I want to make sure it's applied right. You want to make sure you put your foundation on, match it to your neck as well, because you don't want to forget about that part. Before, you know, before you leave your home. okay so this part is basically all done what do you all think so far I like it it looks really good it looks natural it don't look too heavy because I don't like a lot of makeup onto my face you know 
not too much of it, you know, N not no more like how I used to when I was younger. I was like full face, you know, everything, <laughs> you know. And this is from Black Radiance. This is what I got a few weeks ago from Target, and I believe this was about either six ninety eight between six ninety eight and eight ninety eight, so under ten dollars, so not bad at all. And the shade, don't shade the shade, but this is black. Uh, this is by Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. So this is how it looks. Oh, it does say it, isn't this number eight zero three eight Honeymoon. So eight zero three eight Honeymoon from Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder, and it has a sponge already in it. So I love I love that part. And you want to just make sure you just set it. Because you already set your makeup and your, I mean your foundation and your concealer. So you definitely want to just set that. And you want to just let it sit for like a minute or so. Not too long. Because like sometimes with the foundation, your makeup does crease. Okay, so that's how much I really, I don't really apply too much of the loose powder into my face not too much of it so I'm gonna just take my handheld mirror just to see how it looks so far and I'm gonna let it sit there for just a minute and I'm looking to my handheld mirror I mean to my desktop mirror as well an additional so I can just make sure everything looks precise okay so that looks really good so we're gonna just take this same brush that I use to apply for my concealer and foundation and I'm just brushing it off but blending it in with the rest of my makeup so that way it won't look you know I just want to just make sure you blend it in very well okay take my handheld mirror check make sure everything looks the way you want it to look like looks very very good okay so now is the eyeshadow palette this is from elf this is in z7098 but i don't think they carry this anymore but if they do pick it up buy it from your target or your walmart or you can look on to the website so i'm taking a brush i'm taking this brush from wet and wild and i'm taking a transition shade that'll go with my skin tone so I'm taking this shade right here I mean look how pigmented that is wow and you want to just always dust any excess that you have off and just apply it and that's just how I'm doing it and I usually just put on just two shades of the um, eyeshadow palette just two three shades not too much And I don't want I don't really have my when I do my eyeshadow I make sure it's not too out too far not all the time so you want to take that shade again and apply it to your crease and pull it out just a little bit not too far out that's just how I do, but if you want to, you know, to apply it like a little more outer, you're you're more than welcome to. Go right ahead. This is just how I do it. And I just apply this all over the lid. And now if you if you can see that, I hope you can. This is that shade which is right here. So now we're going to apply 
a different shade. We're going to go with this orange type of shade like right here. Let's put it like right in the middle. I mean look how pigmented this eyeshadow palette is. Oh my goodness. This is e.l.f. I really do love e.l.f. because their I mean their foundation, their concealers, their eyeshadow palettes is very affordable. So And I'm putting it just right in the middle. I don't put too much of it. So, this is a really good sh um, shade. Oh, I meant to show you. Sorry, I should have showed you. That's how it is right there. Very, very pretty. Very pigmented, too. I'm just putting it, like, right in the middle. I'm just brushing it. Okay, that is it. That's it. And then I'm going to apply a, uh, a uh, not a glitter, but a shimmer as well. Just right in the middle. And then I'm going to apply like right here in, in the corner. Taking the same brush. And we're going to just apply this shade right here. I'm going to show you so you can see. Hope you can see it. Oh, you really probably can. You know what? I'm going to use my finger so you can definitely see it. There you go. I'm not flicking you off. But this that shade right there. This is it right here. It's so pretty. Very pretty. And you know what? I need to let me see how this look with this brush. Nope. I need to apply it with a flat brush. And you definitely want to spray as well. So this is by e.l.f. This is the facial oil mist. It's called Loving. This one is about $10. So you can definitely make sure. You get this. I'm going to keep the packaging and everything else to it as well. Okay, so just when you apply it, you can just dip. Dip it in. Dip like that. Spray. Or you can also use um, gl um, glitter glue too as well from your local. If you can't get it from your like Target or Walmart, definitely you can get it at your local beauty supply store, which I love to be in. I'm always in there, not always, but I haven't been in a while. I'm I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to stay good. <laughs> Woo. So that is my favorite place to be. I love the. Um, the B supply store to get anything anything you want and this is the look so far it looks very good so now we're going to just get the inner corners oh I hope I oh got it right here actually this will be good. So this brush right here, or you can use like a pointed brush, which I don't have. I'm surprising I don't have. I do, but I think I put all my makeup brushes like away. I don't know why, but we're going to go in with this shade right here for just the inner corner. I'm doing this backwards. I should have did this last, but I got everything else on me already, so... And then that's how it looks so far. Don't look too bad. I just got to practice a whole lot more like how I used to. Wow. Okay. That's done. <laughs> okay. So we're almost done. I got to just apply some facial mist. Again, this is by the e.l.f. brand. This is by, it's called Loving. This is like in a red container, clear container. But is this, one, this one smells really good. It's a very mild type of scent. Not too bad. So we are basically done with all that. We're going to apply the mascara. 
Now that's the exciting part that I've been waiting on. And this is in Pitch Black by e.l.f. And this is in, this gives you the Mega Volume Instant Lift uh, Flake Resistant. And yes, I'm just throwing this package away. Okay. Oh, there you definitely want to make sure you use a... Oh, I eyelash. Whoa, I like eyelash curler. I'm trying to find one real quick. Yep, yeah, here it is. Want to make sure this is by Elf, so this was about three to six dollars. So you want to make sure you uh you curl your eyelash before you put any mascara on or any false eyelashes on. Let's see, I'm getting it. There we go. I'm getting it now. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Mascara, how you are? Okay, and this is called the Big Mood. It's in purple. Love the color. This is how the wand looks like. And it's supposed to give you that volume that you want. You probably have to do a couple coats of it, but so far I got one coat on so far. And this is how I apply my my mascara. And you want to just definitely take your time when you definitely apply your mascara too. Whoa! Okay. Okay, Elf. Wow. Posted, but then you can also uh, use this. You can put some false eyelashes on from Elf or whichever brand, like Ardell from Elf. Um, I believe what in Wild have some or Kiss. You know, those is what I've seen so far in the stores. So when you apply your mascara, make sure you just take the wand and wiggle, wiggle it back and forth. So you can get that. There you go. Effect that you want. There. Okay. Make sure it didn't mess up. Okay, I can see it. I can see it. Okay. Okay, Elf. I'm so glad they came out with a pretty good mascara. Okay. Gotta do the lips and we're done. I don't really put a whole lot of mascara on underneath. I don't know why. I don't don't I don't. And this is from Elf right here. This is the crystal clear. Um, lip oil but you can um, use a lip liner if you want and then use a lipstick but I'm just using a clear lip gloss okay and then hair I'm trying to hear me get this down oh yeah yeah I usually have my hair down, but today I'm just telling you, I've just been really relaxing today. But it's like, oh, gotta do a video. It's there we go. It's somewhat trying to come out. It's the tie that's tied in my hair. There we go. I didn't want to come out. Okay. So I'll leave my hair just like this for the day. Yeah. And this is the end of the look of the, the forever log of Elf. 
so i hope you like the products that i tried definitely give it a try very affordable for your dollar for your coins and for your wallet from elf again i'm gonna show you one more time okay so what do you think i hope i did good i hope i did good for y'all so you know you got some advice some tips for me and definitely give this look a try from elf buy elf products it's affordable i love elf and yes 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 definitely enjoy this video please take your family and friends all about the beauty room and i'll see you all in the next video have a blessed and safe sunday see you next video bye thanks for watching